Hello, sweet souls. Happy Friday, September 29th. Happy super full moon. It's the last uh, super full moon uh, for 2023. So it's going to be your full moon reading. I'm also going to post some element, elemental signs um, on YouTube. So you guys can check me out over there if you want to watch the individual like earth, air, fire. Um, I forgot one. Water. Just watch me over there. I'm going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. I'm going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Okay. So, it's really super foggy out this morning. And I've been up since like three something this morning. Though so I do feel like there may have been a situation where things were unclear but i do feel clarity coming in so let's see what comes out for the collective what does the collective need to know for the harvest super full moon harvest super full moon for the collective Okay, so the first thing out is serendipity. There is definitely a change in your luck that's coming in, and it could have to do with something you have manifested. This can also mean that things are changing and you're coming into the energy of being able to manifest your wishes, your dreams, your desires. For many of you, you are helping your community in some way, and this is bringing in a blessing for you, okay? The bottom of the deck is a fork in the road. This can be your energy or someone else's. Uh, someone needs to make a decision here. Okay, so let's just see what comes out. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to know for the greater good? Please clarify serendipity. Please clarify serendipity. Wow. So you have been very perseverant no matter what your obstacles or challenges, no matter who, what, or where, or when. Uh, was going on that was stressful or chaotic you just kept pushing forward you stay focused on what it is that you're passionate about what you knew was right for you you learn to love yourself and being in a self-love energy you really started to set boundaries and that has um, made a huge impact on your luck things aligning for you you are the high priestess highly intuitive and you rely on your intuition now you're very tapped in you trust god so you're favored by God. You definitely are favored by God. I heard God's child. So that's so sweet. Okay. Please clarify. Imagine. Imagine. Wow. So you are... Maybe you're manifesting a success, a victory in some way. I do see it happening. So this is public recognition. This is victory. This is a long, hard battle. And then riding into victory after the long, hard battle. <clears throat> so that's what's coming in for you. We do have a past energy that you are moving away from. Because you have released a past energy, this has freed you to move forward in a space that is abundant for you. This is victorious for you. I do see a masculine that's coming in that's very stable, a king of pentacles and a king of cups. It, I feel like this is the same masculine. This king of pentacles is very grounded and stable, but will also be emotionally grounded. This is someone that will be very loving and open to loving you, okay? Someone that will be an exact match to you with the king to the queen of cups. So that's beautiful. All right, so let's go on to community. Truth and only truth. Please clarify community. Please clarify community we just got a bunch that flipped out wow okay with community um you are helping your community but we also have a community of people here that are watching you they're watching you and someone wants to come forward and speak some sort of truth in regards to chaos and conflict that was brought your way in the past this can be someone that has self-reflected on this situation. This can someone can be someone that is haunted by the information that they're aware of that they haven't come forward with. So they are feeling pushed 
by the divine to speak truth to you. Okay, so let's clarify blessed. Let's clarify blessed. Let's clarify blessed. Well, I do see a love offer. Part of your blessing is a love offer that's coming in because you've leveled up to the Empress. You're very creative, loving, and abundant. You have magnetic energy, and this person is drawn to you. Cup energy again. Um, this person knows that you have your, your guard up. They know that you've been deeply wounded in the past, and they know they're going to have to make it very clear what their intentions are for you to let your guard down. But I do see a lot of communication. It leads to a lot of happiness and success okay let's clarify fork in the road five 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 on the clock change is coming fork in the road wow yeah you made the decision to close out a cycle so god stepped in and guided you toward a divine masculine energy or feminine take it how it resonates God guided you toward a partner that is an alignment that is destined, that is meant to be in your life, that is meant to co-create with you because you walked away from people, places, or things that didn't serve you. You listened to God. Yeah, and that created balance in your life. And this earth angel energy, you are an earth angel. And it created balance for you. You, based on your free will choices and your actions to follow God, called in your own justice. Justice. The scales are being balanced. Why? Because you put death to anyone you didn't trust. Anyone that caused you stress or anxiety, you put death to it. You said, no, no more. I'm not doing this. Life's too short to live in this energy of being uncertain if someone is speaking the truth to you. Life's too short to be in the energy of being stressed out, haunted, not able to sleep because you don't know what your partner's doing. No, you said, no, I'm done with that. Life's too short. I'm not doing that which is amazing. Yeah, you decided to plant good seeds. You decided to move forward. Let those 10 swords that were put in your back fall away. Let it complete. And that's what ushered in the Wheel of Fortune. Good karma for you. What was fated for you all along. But you hadn't learned the lesson yet. So that's amazing. Okay, so let's clarify with the Kipper. I did order some new decks for the channel, guys. Um, some Oracle decks, so uh, probably be getting those the 8th of October. I can't wait to use them. There's, I got a bunch of them, a bunch of decks, so we'll start using those. All right, with Serendipity, we see you kept pushing forward. You were the wounded warrior, but you kept on fighting. You learned to love yourself, um, which by you loving yourself and setting boundaries, it changed your luck. Serendipity, please clarify. Serendipity. Wow. So we see a masculine from your past and a karmic feminine in your energy. They are witnessing, watching you on your path, your journey. They can see changes occurring for you and the blockage for this couple is your occupation. They cannot do anything to interfere with your occupation and that is causing some sort of issue over there. So with Imagine, we see that you have victory, public recognition. Um, you moved away from a past situation and that puts you in the high priestess energy, very highly intuitive, very connected with God. You are God's child and a new masculine is coming in. One that's grounded and stable, one that will be open emotionally. Also one that is in complete alignment with you, with the king and queen of cups. Please clarify, imagine, imagine. Yeah. Past people in this thief energy could not take your new beginning away from you. They couldn't because you're too high ranked, high honor. You're too highly ranked in the spiritual realm. They tried. Trust me, they did, but they couldn't. All right. With community, you're helping your community, but we also see a community of people watching you. They're watching you, and then there is a masculine here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, 
or just a mask. This could also represent St. Michael bringing forth the truth, but I feel like this is a masculine that is aware of the chaos and conflict that was thrown your way. They, this masculine is aware and they want to come forward and speak some sort of truth because they've done some soul searching and this is haunting this person that they know what, what has been done to you and they have not spoken the truth. Community. Let's clarify community. Wow. You may have expected this, but there is official person here. This is someone, like I said, that can be St. Michael making sure the truth is known. But there's an official person here that is that is coming in to communicate. So they're coming in to communicate with you. And then we see a, your past person losing financially with wealthy man sideways. They're losing financially. Whoever this king of swords is, they, they have bore witness to whatever has occurred with your past person. That they were hyper-focused on money, what they did for money, the chaos and conflict they caused you. This king of swords in the upright is, is honest and they want to speak the truth. Okay, with blessed, we see a new love offer for the empress or emperor. Take it how it resonates. You are loving, you're abundant, you're nurturing, you're creative, you're magnetic. You have divine protection. And I see this message that's coming in, this, this love offer. It is a blessing, but it makes you very happy. Leads to success. Please clarify blessed. Please clarify blessed. Because it leads to unexpected income and marriage. A divine union. That's beautiful. Wow. All right. With Fork in the Road, you made the decision. You made the decision to close out a cycle and follow God. So God is bringing in or has brought in, depending on if you've met your divine partner, a divine partner, emperor or empress, take it how it resonates. Because you had strength and courage to walk away, um, it created balance in your life in this earth angel energy. You ushered in justice because of the choices you've made, um, the decisions you've made. You made the decision. Oops, sorry guys. Hold on a second. I don't know what happened here. We have a commercial. We, You made the decision to put an end to situations that cause you stress and anxiety or being with people that you don't trust. You made the decision to end that. You decided to plant new seeds. Hold on, guys. My computer's acting weird. Um, you decided to plant new seeds and those 10 swords that were put in your back, you allowed them to fall out. And that's why the wheel of fortune, fate and destiny are aligning for you at this time. All right, please clarify fork in the road. Please clarify fork in the road. Yeah, you have a karmic masculine in despair. Because they see you are in the upright. They're in despair over whatever actions they've taken against you. Because it has bore no fruit. I don't know. Like, is that even a saying? I just heard that in my head. It didn't. It was fruitless. They didn't get anywhere doing it. And you're still in the upright. Thriving. Happy. For some of you, you could have online work. And that's what you're focused on. You're putting all the work into what you're creating with the universe, co-creating with the universe. Yeah, and that has this person concerned. This person's a false person. Uh, there's a false person in a family room obsessed with trying to turn a community of people against you. <laughs> But your pathway is clear and this person is in bad health or they will be because of their actions. They're putting out very nasty energy. So that came out yesterday. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else for the super full moon that we need to know? Let's do my deck and just see what comes out, guys. I know it's a little bit of a longer reading, but let's just see what comes out. What does a collective need to know? Yeah, this person wants reconciliation. You have protection from your ancestors or 
yeah, from your ancestors because this person is deceptive and God's wrath is upon them. So just continue to focus on what it is you're meant to create and don't worry about what karmic energies are doing, guys. Yeah, they're they're in a third party situation. They're they're tied to a karmic and they just said let it be. Just focus on your life. You could be seeing a lot of triple numbers, a lot of signs right now that victory is coming for you. Victory will be yours. Wow. You've been releasing a lot of karmic debt. And they want you to believe in miracles because a miracle will soon happen in your life. That's amazing. Happiness, joy, and emotional fulfillment is headed your way. That's beautiful. Yeah, they're just clarifying this is a false masculine that's come out in this reading that has a toxic workspace. You have unexpected income. They have a tower coming. You have divine protection, but they said stay out of the way. Don't communicate with this person. Don't get involved with this person. Stay out of the way. Okay, guys, this is a lesson this person has to learn. So you just stay in your lane, stay out of the way, and know that things are aligning for you. Things are changing. There's new love, there's new opportunities, there's growth, and there's blessings. So, all right, guys, I love you. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.